You're watching In Technology, a video cast where you can get smarter about cybersecurity, sustainability, and technology. Here are your hosts, Tom Garrison and Camille Moorhart. Hi, and welcome to the In Technology podcast. I'm your host, Tom Garrison, and with me, as always, is my co-host, Camille. And today, we have a special guest from Intel, uh, Jennifer Huffstetler. She is the corporate product sustainability lead for Intel. She's also a 26 year, almost 27 year Intel veteran. And we're happy to have her. I've worked with her for a lot of years. So this is kind of a fun thing for me today to be able to have her on as a guest in the podcast. So Jen, welcome to the podcast. Thanks for having me, Tom and Camille. Yeah. So today's topic, we wanted to talk about sustainability. And we've had a couple of guests already sort of give a a flavor for sustainability and what is it and 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 whatnot but we wanted to have you on today to to focus on what does it mean at a corporate level what are you what are the kinds of things that you're looking at uh to try to achieve in your role at intel and what other companies might be able to take away from that in my new role we're basically looking after where our customers have set goals, how to help them lower their carbon footprint as we're on this mission to achieve sustainable compute. And that builds upon this incredibly strong and long legacy that we have in our own internal operations, where for decades we've been looking after our environmental footprint in each of the locations where we operate. What do you think is the driving reason for companies trying to engage in sustainability practices and products? I mean, what <clears throat> is it to get more customers? Is it out of and the goodness of their hearts? What What is it? What's driving it? It seems like such um, a great emphasis, you know, in the last few years, there's been kind of a turn. Yeah, Camille, it's even been more recent than that, that folks have started thinking about it. But in the last 18 months, it just shot up. And I, I'd say the primary factor driving businesses, although you know the goodness of their heart, the care for the planet, leaving a, a legacy for their grandchildren or their children, like those are all strong factors. Um, the social um, demographic changes of the next generation expecting to work for a company that values and has a credible sustainability strategy is a new factor in even competing for talent. Um, But the primary reason is really regulations, right? We know that the EU is far advanced uh, in the US on this, but even our own SEC is now um, put put forth um, their draft proposals on how they're going to start driving uh, standardization in the reporting and really holding companies accountable um, to not, you know, what's known as greenwashing, just calling things green because they are. Um, so on the bright side, this is an area where I think regulation um, in this case is is really going to be important and more important to to see the pivot in the investment across the global economy. Um, you know, some examples of what's happened is data centers um, haven't been able to be built if a local economy uh, has you know, so much renewable power or total electricity even. If you're an island like Ireland and you bet part of your local economy on hosting data centers for Europe, when that segment of your economy takes up 17% of your total island's power, you notice. And when it's projected to grow to 30%, you know, you're, you're really looking for partnership from industry to demonstrate how they're going to lower their power consumption, you know, implement renewable energy um, to accommodate that growth. Um, The same thing happens uh, in the client space where, you know, some of our customers were unable to ship product because they're not meeting these new regulatory requirements. Um, So I think this is an area where the EU is ahead and it's kind of, you know, leading the charge across the board. And then you get the boards of companies asking what the strategy is within each company. So multifaceted. Well, Jen, it feels like we could keep talking about this for a long time, but uh, I think we should end it here. But I I do want to thank you for coming in 
to the podcast and and sharing the work that Intel's doing and 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 some of the exciting things that are coming across the industry. So thank you. Yeah, I'm very very happy to have the opportunity to share it here, and thank you to the listeners for your time. Appreciate it. Never miss an episode of In Technology by following us here on YouTube or wherever you get your audio podcasts. The views and opinions expressed are those of the guests and author and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of Intel Corporation.